Hello, Gemini. Jackie Tomlin here, and this is your general reading for the week of October 3rd, 2023, as we welcome the month of October. Gems, y'all remember, this is a general reading. Take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. If you're seeking that personal one-on-one -on -one reading, it is JackieTomlin.com, where you will find a menu of options over there for readings. All righty, guys. Let's see what we have coming up here. Uh, first sign that jumps out, a Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you, as well as a Cancer. Okay, some kind of clarity is coming in, the dawning of a new day, some kind of confirmation. Something that you have suspected or wondered about, you will get the confirmation that you were correct on. Okay. There's been a lesson well learned here, okay, and you could expect some major changes. The help that you need is on the way, and I think it's coming in a form or fashion that you might not be expecting. Some of you, it may be financial because there is some new money coming into play. There's also a new emotional path, and going back to these changes, sudden and quick come to mind. Okay. So we're going to start your reading today. We're going to start your reading today with some oracles and then we will jump into your tarot reading. Okay. Let's see what we have going on for you guys. Okay. So it's time to make decisions, time to make decisions you guys have been putting off. Um, then we do have the card of lust here. So you need to recognize the difference between lust and love. Don't confuse the two. There is something here. Hello, my dear. There is something here that's going to require your obedience, your diligence, and your consistency. Okay. And we have that you feel like you are just spinning in circles, that you are not getting anywhere. It's like you're running that little hamster wheel, that you're not getting anywhere. You're doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, you do remain hopeful. And there's someone here. There's some lies and deception surrounding you. And the first thing I see when I see this, it's a family member. So I'll throw that out there as well. Again, with the love and lust, let's not confuse the two. Numbers that are jumping out are 46 and 37. Okay. We retain your individuality some of you it might be a form of expression it might be some artwork it might be something to do with arts and some of you may be getting some new ink um also pay attention to your dreams in regards to uh your ancestors coming through with messages it could be visits in your dreams um this could also indicate maybe that you're seeing cardinals or finding feathers that your loved one is around you could be dealing with an air sign, another air sign from a gems. Uh, you're just now getting back into the groove of things. So it tells me you're in a kind of a recovery mode here. Hello, Juliet. And some of you are doing something nice for yourself as far as your appearance. Clothes, hair, nails, something like that. And we have people viewing you as the warrior. They view that you're tough and that you can get through anything. Now, someone is coming in. They may be offering up an apology, but they're looking for your understanding. Okay. Uh, remain playful. Don't overcomplicate things. In Gemini, you can do that very easily. Keep and maintain a diligent focus. Keep your focus going. Maintain your vision. There's something you're visualizing. Visualization, manifestation. Keep at it. Very strong message to keep at it. You are surrounded by that white light. All righty. Good messages going out to the Geminis. Let's get into your tarot. Let's see what we have for you. Again, this is your first week of October 2023. For my gems, focus is always on what you need to know because sometimes that's entirely different than what you're asking. And when you focus on what you need to know, sometimes those questions that you're asking are automatically answered. All right, let's see what we got going on here. First one popping out, we have the Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, 
and the five of pentacles okay so that three of cups is talking about the celebration three and or more people get together there's something here you're happy about there's something here you're celebrating hello miss ruth ann two of pentacles talks about if you're juggling financially those days are over because this is generally an indication that new money is coming in and then right beside of that you're sitting on the Five of Pentacles. When I'm talking about the help that you need, might be financial help, but this comes in as a financial blessing as well as a spiritual blessing. Okay, either way, you're counting your blessings. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, center of the reading, Queen of Swords. And we have a King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Gemini. Now, let me say this. Gemini on Gemini indicates total, complete stubbornness. There's something here I can see you rolling your eyes. You just don't want to deal with it. It's because you're being stubborn. Oh, well, if you can, you can. Queen of Pentacles and Aquarius. So we're looking at a power couple here. Um, Aquarius energy of someone grounded center. Some of you are just in a good spot and you know you're in a good spot. You feel that energy change and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm also looking at a power couple here that you could be involved in a relationship that I would consider to be a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Uh, very deep seated, generally something of the long term, sometimes on again and off again but not an easy relationship. Queen of Swords comes in the middle and it's talking about that earth energy that you may be dealing with a Virgo. This could be someone who has a sharp tongue, someone who can lash out, but at the same time, someone that could come in and offer up some good, solid advice. Okay. You've got the Six of Pentacles been lingering around on all the signs so far. Six of Pentacles says something that's coming in to restore your financial balance. It's not a, a wave. It's not a whirlwind. But it's enough. It's enough. Y'all got the magician trumping your reading. This is the highest card in the deck. This is your yes answer. Getting everything you want and desire. And we have the Four of Pentacles, keeping some things to yourself. And for some of you, that's going to be a stash of cash. Also, I'm seeing like doves, like the lovebirds, white birds, seagulls, white birds. I'm seeing white birds. Um, just to let you know, I mean, we're going into another tarot deck here, but your only major arcana in this entire spread is the magician. Pretty fascinating stuff. All right. Let's clarify this. Let's start. What what are you celebrating here up top? The only major kind of the guy. All right. With that three of cups comes the knight of swords. Something is rushing in. What is rushing in? Seven of wands. Your peace. Your zen. Your moment. Your moment to shine. Energy work. Meditation, Reiki, yoga. King of Cups comes on the Five of Pentacles. So now we're looking at a spiritual blessing, a financial blessing, the, the help that you need coming in, that magician tying in with the King of Cups of this huge offer of love. And it could be a cancer may or may not resonate here. The color green is significant here. Green. Queen of Pentacles comes in with the Nine of Cups. We're talking about wish fulfillment. So for those that are, are in this Zen moment, and you know what I'm talking about, that you just feel that you're in a good spot, you know, we're talking about it's wish fulfillment. It's what you've been manifesting. Juliet, that sounds wonderful. I want to roll. Right? Six of Swords comes into play, leaving the troubled waters, heading off into the calm. This may be directed by an earth sign. And that King of Pentacles says, the Knight of Wands, movement on the home front, someone moving in, someone moving out. Movement of furniture, renovations, some kind of movement going on on the home front. We're throwing out the color purple now. The color purple. Some of you guys are getting a new cat. Um, very dark colored cat um, with stripes. Six of Pentacles comes in with the Three of Wands. 
You're losing patience. <laughs> I imagine that Gemini with no patience. Uh, you're losing patience in retrospect. You're looking to see what worked well and what didn't work well. And you feel like you're, you're focused and you're doing everything right. Still not coming in. Well, you know, it's divine timing. Spare's time, not your time. And on the magician. Y'all, Gemini, I cannot make that up. That is the magician on top of the magician. You're getting your way. You're getting what you want. And on that four of pentacles is the six of cups. You're reuniting. You're reconnecting. You're communicating with someone from the past. I have two full spreads here. Okay. I'm looking at a total of 19, 18 tarot cards out here and only two major arcanas. And it is the magician clarifying the magician. Can't make that up, Nick and I. All right, let's go further with these messages. Let's see what else we got. That three of cups you're celebrating is rushing in. Hard work paying off because you're ambitious and you're motivated. Ooh, I like it. Two of Pentacles with that hard work paying off is because you're becoming a stronger and better person every single day. Wow, you guys have been manifesting and working on you and you're making it happen. Might not be in the time frame you want, but it's it's happening for you. Five of Pentacles, Pentacles with that King of Cups. Work on your energy healing. The Queen of Pentacles being in that good spot in the wish fulfillment. Surrender to the spirit energy. The Queen of Swords with the Six of Swords. Your happiness is a choice. That is so true. Happiness is a choice. King of Pentacles on that Knight of Wands. Don't forget, there is a power couple here. Okay? And it's talking about, you know what? It's okay for you to emote. You can be happy. You can be sad. You can be whatever you want to. It's part of the energy work that you're doing on yourself. The Six of Pentacles on the Three of Wands. You don't have to fit in with anybody. March to your own tune. Kind of like my granddaughter. That's what I tell her. She marches to her own tune. On these double magicians. Loving yourself first. Gotta love it. The Four of Pentacles with reconnecting with someone from the past. You identify and remove toxic people around you. This is referring to the someone from your past trying to slip in there. Toxicity. Toxicity. Remove it. You've got too much going for you. You've got too much help coming in. Everything going your way. You're sitting on double magicians. Gemini, you have a wonderful week. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. If you're following me around, we're logging off. Cancer. Cancer is up next. Join me there. Bye.